Welcome back everyone, it's Bright Screw Flex here. Today guys, bring you a, a match of domination on Nooktown for the first time in a wee while. Haven't done a match like this actually in a long time in uh, Black Ops 3, just too busy doing uh, news updates and uh, Rainbow Six. So uh, it's good to, uh, good to go back to Black Ops 3 every so often. I'm um, using the Draken here with the suppressor and hog sight and for my secondary is RK5 Jeweled. Uh, perks I'm using Scavenger, Ghost and Dead Silence. So if you guys haven't tried this look yet go definitely check it out. It's absolutely class. Uh, I would plan to use the EL ELO sight on uh, the Draken but apparently um, I haven't unlocked it yet, so um, yeah, that'll be very interesting once I get it. Uh, looks like an overpowered uh, loadout. Uh, the way it is, so putting the EL ELO site on that would even make it even more better. So, uh, if you guys haven't used this, go and definitely use it. It's actually really effective and it's actually a really, really good uh, class loadout. So, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay and uh, people are just uh, asking me. To, uh, do your sniping videos, so I thought I might as well just do it. So don't judge me for my my accuracy with snipers, because I'm not really a sniper person. So I thought I'd try it out. Uh, it wasn't really an aggressive gameplay. It was more of a defensive and just holding this down and down. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, as you can see, the reveal trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was released uh, four days ago. If you guys have watched it, I'm um, assuming you guys have. Um, biggest load of crap ever. Um, it's got like 9 million views, so uh, it's been doing pretty well for views. And this dislikes, it has 457,000 dislikes. It's the most dislike Call of Duty in history. This is like probably one, it's actually at the top, um, a couple of hundred most disliked videos in the world. That's only when I have 150k dislikes, so having 457k dislikes, it's got to be at least the top 100 now. And the uh, likes, it has 201k, which is the most like called and ever in history, which I don't know why, because it looks like Transformers or Halo or something, but um, I really don't know what they're trying to do with this game. Very disappointing. Uh, most dislike Call of Duty on YouTube for out of real trailer and uh, I totally agree it, it deserves all those dislikes uh, you guys opinion might be different you guys might be looking forward to it but personally I don't think it's going to be that great uh, that's just my own uh, opinion you guys could think differently uh, if you guys are pumped for it uh, I'm good that you guys are pumped but for my uh, I'm an old style Call of Duty fan so I was brought up with like MW3, MW2, Black Ops 1, COD 4, World at War 5. Uh, so I just, I was like, brought up with all the good Call of Duty's. No, the Call of Duty's these days are just terrible. Black Ops 3 is a good game. I'm actually having more fun in Black Ops 3 now since I've seen the new Call of Duty. It just made me enjoy the game I have at the minute. And, uh, yeah, so that's not too bad. If you guys haven't heard, there is a live stream for the new Battlefield 5, um, I believe it's what I'm just going to be called. Um, there's actually a live stream starting actually at this minute, while, we sp uh, while I'm actually doing this video. Um, we're doing like a 6 to 7 hour time period to lead up to the reveal trailer. Um, I was watching it for like a few hours and uh, I was just bored, so I thought I'd just go stop by and see how they're doing. They were talking a lot about uh, the old 1999 or I don't even know what you call the game, uh, the old Battlefield game, and uh, it looked for it looked like a lot of fun to play it when it was out at the time. I said it's probably going to be roughly around that setting because they keep showing that game off a lot, so I'm assuming that is what they're planning to do. Um, it might it could be a remake potentially, or it could be a brand new complete series in that setting, which would be like World War One or World War Two days. And if it is, that Battlefield has the opportunity just to nail Call of Duty in the face and to tell them to rise up and uh, Activision 
will be a, a huge shock to Activision if Battlefield outsells uh, Call of Duty because you know they have called for remastered. Yeah, that's gonna be absolutely amazing. But the fa sad thing is you have to pay like 80 bucks or 80 pounds, even or whatever you're from, just to uh, get called for, which is very disappointing. And uh, if Battlefield can just do something right for a change, Battlefield is an absolutely amazing game. I've almost thought it's been better than Call of. Uh, Battlefield 4 had a bad start, but awesome game now. Battlefield 3 from one of my most favourite games ever. And uh, Battlefield Bad Comet 2 was absolutely amazing. So, Battlefield has the potential to become the best selling shooter this year, even has the opportunity to beat Call of Duty because culture is just slipping up so much so uh, Battlefield could do some serious damage if they do if they play their cards right and they just do what people want them to do that Call of Duty has not delivering and uh, that is potentially going back to World War 1 and World War 2 days if it's a modern day shooter I'll still buy it I still love modern day shooters but I prefer a World War 1 or 2 game and uh, yeah what are you guys opinions do you guys want to see a World War 1 or 2 Battlefield, are you guys more interested in the uh, modern days, or even the future? Do you guys want to see Battlefield going to the future? Because I certainly don't. But tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What you guys uh, think of the new Battlefield 5 coming out? Um, the trailer will be announced at nine o'clock GMT time, so it'll be roughly around four hours. So hopefully, you guys enjoy. I'll keep you guys informed what I think of the trailer and my personal thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and remember guys, everyone take care, and God bless.